tonight we're making turkey burgers and I'm gonna chop up some onions and a jalapeno and some bell peppers to put in the turkey I used to make turkey burgers all the time like throughout college and even like living at home they're really easy and you can like basically throw any spices with like onion and a pepper and it's good. Is this onion still good? I'm not gonna do a whole onion. I'm taking out the seeds of this jalapeno because nobody wants super spicy. And then I just do some bell pepper because I love this thing so much. We make everything with this. I've showed you guys a bunch. Um, it's just nice because it has like so many attachments. So there's um, like a smoothie attachment. It comes with all of the all three of these. You can do like an individual smoothie or like blend individual things. Big blender and then like food processor, and it's so nice. turkey in here and then I'm not gonna I'm scared this might be too much so I'm just gonna see yeah I think that's good I usually like to add some turmeric but I don't have any I'm gonna do some smoked paprika smoked paprika we have both smoked and regular paprika but smoked give it gives it like a smoky taste some cumin garlic powder Pepper and salt, of course. Duh. I'm gonna do some sweet potatoes just in a skillet. So I dumped the rest of the mixture that I uh, chopped with some extra onions. I'm just gonna do some olive oil. I'm literally winging all of this. Oregano, paprika, garlic powder, pepper, and salt. I think I might start the potatoes. They're gonna take some time. I thought the camera was on, and it wasn't, but I just dropped the potatoes in the skillet because they take a little time to cook. I'm just gonna put the lid on them. I got these buns from Whole Foods um, a few days ago. They're brioche buns, and that's why I'm so excited for this because this is gonna be delicious. For toppings, I think I'm gonna do some avocado, some jalapenos. These are hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's, which I have not tried, but I'm sure they're good. My mouth's literally watering. Then we'll do some pepper jack cheese. I like this for potatoes. It's the, y'all have seen this, the spicy mayo. And then we also picked up this hot sauce from the same truffle brand and it is so good if you guys see this brand definitely try it it's a little bit pricey i was very surprised but the ingredients are really good like this has organic sugar organic agave and like everything is it's pretty clean for the most part okay potatoes are cooking i'm just gonna try to get them to crisp up now and the um turkey burgers are in the air fryer I'm so happy they did not fall apart. They look really good. Wow. Guys, if y'all want an all-in-one machine, y'all need to get this thing. <laughs> He's selling I it. Live by this. Yeah, it's so good. I'm going to go ahead and add the cheese on from now. Okay. Actually, I'll add it up though. We took the temperature. And those look so good. Okay, I'm doing guac, these hot and sweet jalapenos, this pepper jack cheese, these pickles on the side. Okay. The product looks so good. Ready? Uh, yeah, I so hope it's good. Hmm. Looks good. So good. Wow. 
That's so good. Mm -hmm. I like that they didn't come out dry. It's mm -hmm. good. Oh my god, so mm -hmm. good. We just filmed a TikTok trying these Costco peaches. If you guys have seen this on TikTok, they weren't anything special. Like they were still good, but they taste like normal peaches. Yeah. I thought they'd have like something different. Like they're so huge. That one is huge. And they have a seed in them. It's literally looks like an apple. Yeah. That's not organic. That's not an organic peach. Well, they probably get big because of they absorb all the water. Oh, true. I don't think it's anything related. <laughs> Can you eat over something? Well, I'm tr I don't have anything. Yeah. yeah. This one's actually pretty good. Oh, shoot. Really? <laughs> the hair on here. <laughs> Not your hair. For sure. at the gym it is 6 30 6 45 and he's been working so early he gets up like 5 a.m he took a nap today i just want to have dinner ready when he gets home so i'm making a hello fresh meal today you have got to get down i am so excited to be partnering with hello fresh on today's video i love hello fresh especially as a newlywed getting married one of the hardest things has been deciding what to eat for dinner like you guys have seen the struggle i keep like in my notes all the meals that we like together it's really nice to get the meals sent to you with the ingredients so you know exactly how to cook them and it just kind of like takes the guesswork out of like what to make for dinner so our options tonight were sizzling hoisin shrimp which this is the one we're gonna make the other ones that we have are creamy caramelized onion meatloaf and ancho barbecue burgers. Oh, moments a work phone it was ringing and I was like, where is that coming from? Yeah, so tonight we're gonna make the shrimp, which I love. We actually had a stir fry like last week and it was so good. So I'm just like really craving this. This is such a good thing if you are like newly married and you don't know what both of you like. This is a good way to like kind of figure out um, what to cook and you can like keep the little recipe cards to recreate them. There's options for everyone. So if you don't eat meat, there's veggie options only. I used to do that a lot when I lived by myself. I would get just the veggie options and add my own protein or you can customize it online and add protein to your meal. It's very customizable. They're family friendly. It's just really great for whatever stage of life you're in. I know this time of year is really expensive for a lot of people, spending money on all different types of things. HelloFresh is a really good option because it's less expensive than grocery shopping shopping and 20% less expensive than takeout. I will leave all of the information down below. I do have a discount code for you guys. You can go to hellofresh.com and use code amandasod18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. All right, let's see. One cup of rice. Okay, let's prep. boil water before I pour it in the rice because I feel like it cooks better that way like faster and Lauren does that too so funny and the loaf what you get from wherever that's from body wash body wash I've been using yours <laughs> I thought you had been very smell good though yeah it does some some little red He's my sous chef. All right, here's the final product. It looks, looks so it does look good. I hope it's. 
tastes good. Is it spicy? Not really. It's good. It's really good. I feel like it needs the lime. Hello. Today for dinner, Mohammed and I are both kind of doing something different. So he's doing lamb chops in the air fryer. I don't eat red meat as you guys know. So I'm doing salmon and then I'm just gonna make some Brussels sprouts and some sweet potato fries. The Brussels sprouts need like 30 minutes. So should I tell you when it's like 20 minutes? Yeah. And then you can do your uh, lamb chops. When do you wanna put them in though? Um, when the oven's ready. I think these Brussels sprouts are gonna be good because I found a recipe on TikTok. I love Brussels sprouts if they're like crispy. So it's olive oil, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And then you put a drizzle of honey on them. Honey, pepper. I'm also doing some cauliflower. Mohammed probably won't eat the cauliflower, but I will eat the rest of it for lunch tomorrow. We'll do the Brussels sprouts first. Salt. Salt on the hot flour too. Oil well on that. Garlic powder. And I'm sure it's all. Any of y'all watch the Golden Dots, or if you don't, go watch his videos. He yeah. has the best recipes. Yeah, he's so good. And he's zero. Yeah. Great. I think it's funny because. People found out, like girls found out he was married. And they were like, oh my god, he's married. I've never like seen a hint or say anything that he was married. Yeah, you know these people online, they find everything. It threw me off guard too. I love cauliflower with cumin. It's so good. You guys are telling me to get gloves or, no, that was on TikTok. So I've been uploading, I've been trying to be more like active on TikTok. I've been doing like, cooking videos and so many people are like you need to get gloves i have some from costco you guys i got these drinks i don't think i'm gonna have one today because i just have not drank enough water but these are so good they're ginger beer i always get these when i go to it's not focusing when i go to like um restaurants but it's base. it's just ginger soda it is Carbonated water, sugar, ginger root, natural ginger flavors with other natural flavors. They're so good. Like, I guess they're in all four of those. But, um, okay. I got, like, this much salmon so I could do some for lunch tomorrow. I'm actually going to cook the salmon um, in a pan since I have, like, stuff going in the oven. I, and I would usually broil this in the oven, so... And I don't think I have ever cooked salmon in a pan, so we'll see how that goes. And I'll probably have this exact same thing for lunch tomorrow. All right, Mohammed's doing his lamb chops. He marinated them. They look honestly really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, there's a before. I did avocado oil for my salmon. I watched a TikTok, so I hope for the best. What kind of oil? Avocado. Okay. This one has a higher smoke, whatever. So this is the halfway mark. I like to flip them halfway through and then crank up the heat a little bit to get that burn on there. All right, here's what they look like, super crispy. Now I'm gonna add this balsamic glaze and some salt. Ooh, they turned out so good. 
Look at you chefing it up. Yeah, thanks to a ninja. <laughs> okay, my salmon, it, it, it's just a little crispy, that's all, but on the top, because I left it on there too long. And okay, there's my cauliflower. My whole plate looks burnt, but I promise it's <laughs> it's not. Wow, looks so good. And this is the taste test for your lamb chops. Okay. This is smaller. Mm. Are they good? Take <laughs> This marinade came out really good. Really good. I usually cook lamb chops with just like salt and pepper. And uh, is it rosemary or thyme? Probably rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary. And it always comes out really good, but I saw the Golden Balance's lamb chop marinade, and I was like, I have to try it. And this came out 10 out of 10. This is unbelievable. Mm, good. Mohammed talked me into drinking one of these, so I'm also having one of these. Um, I just want to apologize for how burnt my food was. <laughs> I promise it was still good, but I'm like trying to show y'all meal ideas and that was so burnt. I just left it in the pan too long. I should have um, taken it out and I burnt myself. So that's what that scab is. Um, like a few like last week. But anyways, I'm making tea and I got this sage for Maramia tea because I just like to steep the sage, but I'm not really feeling that tonight. I also got some hot chocolate so we can make hot chocolate, but I don't really feel like doing that tonight either. Ooh, and I got some vegan marshmallows. These from um, Whole Foods, so maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I think I'm, oh, I already put it in here. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot. I'm gonna do lemon balm. I love these big cups, but we got these from Costco and they all like, Cracked. It's just so annoying. I think we're about to go upstairs and watch the Palestinian film. Um, what is it called? And it covers the Nakba. I think it's, it's a person's name. Farha, is that what it is? Yeah, Farha. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, happy Friday. I want to show you guys my outfit before we go to dinner. We've been cooking all week and I'm not about to cook and mama doesn't want to cook. So we're gonna go eat Indian food, which I have been craving so bad after North Carolina. We had it um, there and it was so good. And I just want like butter chicken and biryani. And anyways, I got this little jacket from Abercrombie. Abercrombie top. Jeans, these are old from ASOS and then my boots, but I have something sticky on one of them. So it keeps making a noise. So I need to get that off. Here's Mohammed's outfit, let's see. So cute, that's Abercrombie. Yeah. I love it, did you take the tag off? I did. Okay, good, yeah, that's so cute. Really it's comfy. So cute. I'm gonna get... I think I wore these boots in North Carolina and when I was on the plane, way home I got these sour airheads. One of them was stuck on my, one of them was stuck on my shoe. Okay, we just ordered. We got what do we get? Butter chicken. We got a grilled chicken. Spicy potato samosas. Uh, garlic naan. I'm so excited. These are so big. These are the samosas. So we ordered a lot of food. We honestly ordered way too much food. <laughs> we just like to uh, share. Yeah, we do like to share. How is it? I actually need to make sure that they don't have any nuts in them. Oh, yeah. How is it? Good. I like that it's not too spicy. Yeah. Okay, we got the garlic naan, which looks amazing. And then this is something mom had got that's beef. Butter chicken. Okay, all of our foods here look so good.